All right, boys, today I'm going to show you how to get a 97 overall free player worth 26,000 training for absolutely free. The final Gridiron Forge came out today, and 97 overall Nate Hobbs is going to be the reward for getting 80 stars in the Gridiron Forge. Now, if you don't want 97 overall Nate Hobbs, it literally takes less than an hour to get him. You can quick sell him for 26,000 training for absolutely free. First of all, I'm going to show you how to get this Nate Hobbs. I'm going to go into the quickest and fastest way to complete solo challenges for anybody so even if you're not necessarily interested in the gridiron forge stick around for those tips and then i'm going to go ahead and show you the rewards you can see you do get some free packs from grinding through these challenges so we'll go through those as well make sure you stick through to the end to see if it's worth your time to complete these solos in less than an hour and get a ton of really good rewards so our final gridiron forge is finally here if you go over to your solo challenges tab all you're going to do is click on your solos and you're going to see here under the final forge if you go to your milestones at 20 stars you get an 83 overall or higher elite player you get a pro fantasy pack at 40 stars a gridiron pack at 60 stars 97 overall nate hobbs and his power up at 80 stars and at 100 stars you get an elite pack these are really really good rewards for how easy it is to complete these challenges basically the first trial second third fourth and fifth are all the same just with a little bit higher stakes as you can see here this first one is things like get a tackle pass for a certain amount of yards get a sack they're very easy to complete and i'm going to show you the easiest way to complete your solo challenges in just a second here so first of all i highly recommend making sure you have both versions of madden 22 installed if you can because the Solos are way easier to complete on the Xbox One version of the game, um, but I will show you how to do them on Xbox One and Xbox Series S. The same goes for PS4 versus PS5. All right, so this first tip is going to be for current gen and next gen. This is for your get a tackle or get a sack, uh, get a hit stick, force a fumble, any challenges that basically aren't involving an interception. This is gonna work on both current and next gen. And then this is also what I do when I'm needing to get an interception on next gen because the interception trick on current gen doesn't work on next gen. So you're gonna come out in mid blitz. You're gonna take the player that's using the running back or that's manned up to the running back and you're just gonna put them right over the center here. You're gonna just go back. And most of the time you get a sack like you did there. You you will get a tackle whatever it is like i said this works on both current gen and next gen for any type of defensive challenge except for the interception ones now if you need an interception make sure you're on current gen you're going to go to punt 44 block even the straight rush here you're going to hit x and wait for the offense to audible you can tell when they audible right there see how the players move you're going to move to the right come out and punt safe man and user this right of screen corner you're going to loop right there and you're going to get your interception this works almost every time on current gen unfortunately for next gen the mid blitz is all i really use to try to get interceptions over there this trick doesn't work because of the player movement on next gen the next tip is going to be for any offensive challenges you'll see here this one scored two passing touchdowns but i'll show you completed passes passing touchdowns passing yards rushing yards rushing touchdowns any of the above what you're going to do i like to be i'm in the carolina offense but you can pretty much get this out of any playbook the first thing is going to be in a formation like a tray y flex a tray open something like that You'll go into this and you'll see almost all of them have right underneath the cam here. You can see a PA crossers and an inside. For all the passing stuff, you're gonna come out in PA crossers, just streak your tight end, and then just snap the ball and throw the, the lowest crosser here to be. This works on current and next gen. It's open every time. It always gets a ton of yards, most of the time going for a touchdown like you see right there. And then for the running challenges, you can just use the inside zone out of that same formation. It's pretty easy. It goes by super fast and they both work. And then this is a tip for uh, completing passes. So that obviously gets you a ton of yards. There's some that are like complete six passes. What you can do is just go to play type, go to quick pass. And most playbooks, if you go up once, will have a jet touch pass. If your playbook doesn't have a jet touch pass, I suggest trying to find one that does like the Carolina book here. And when you snap the ball here, this counts as a completed pass. So it may not always get you a ton of yards, but those are guaranteed completions. You cannot throw an incompletion on that and you get the completion for it. So there's how I do all of my rushing solos, all of my passing solos, and all of my defensive solos. I highly recommend being on the current version of the game. But if you have to be on next gen, it's only slightly different. All right, so I finally finished Grid Iron Forge. That was a grind that I have been putting off for a while, but we are gonna open up all of the reward packs right here. These are all from the Grid Iron Forge solos. I haven't opened them all up at all. All right, 86 out of an 83 plus i guess i can't complain about that although i want to all right two pro fantasy packs i think one of these might be from levels but regardless i got it from grinding the uh gridiron forge we're down so horrendous outcast it's crazy all right not a good start here not not ideal okay 
I never have pro fantasy luck. How many of you guys have pulled some glitchy stuff out of pro fantasies? Maybe I just don't rip them enough, but I never get anything good out of pro fantasies. So nasty in the channel. 81 round one, W. Saffold gets all the chems, so he has a little bit of a desirable card. Not a great first round, I won't lie. Not a great first round there, but better than the last. Tough. Okay, uh, definitely, definitely tough. Grid Iron Pack. Jed, I have like 5 million coins. I don't really care about trying to pull a limited from them. That, this is a pretty good Grid Iron Pack. That's not a bad little Grid Iron Pack. I, I actually don't hate that. All right, a little Elite Pack in the channel. All right, but if we don't get anything from any of those packs and all we really pulled from this and a 91 Mike Haynes, that's tough. That's super tough. Not good pulls from the Gridiron Forge solos there. That's super tough. 